Hi, my name is Eddie Azanami, and in this video, I'm going to show you why they call OAU the most beautiful campus in Africa. This is Obafemi Aulawo University, Ilefe, a federal government-owned university that is located in the ancient city of Ilefe, Oshun State, Nigeria. The university was founded in 1961 and it was first called the University of Ife. The campus was built between 1962 and 1972. It is a fascinating example of modernist architecture in Africa. As a case study of Africa assimilation of the modern style, its design is intriguing also due to the fact that it was built by Israeli architect Ariel Sharon. In May 1961, following his first trip to Nigeria, Sharon recommended the town of Ileife as the site for a new university. Ileife is considered to be the cradle of Yoruba culture and its spiritual importance appears to have been a decisive consideration in its selection even though Sharon stressed climatic and geographical factors as well. The main core of the OAU campus, where most of its initial building took place, is the most important zone in the campus. It includes the library, the seven-floor senate building, an assembly hall popularly called amphitheater which is a 5,000-seater capacity and connects the Odudua Hall. There is the academic area which houses the faculties. Almost square in shape, the core has a main plaza, slightly left to its central axis, with pedestrian walks leading to other areas of the campus. Faculty of Agric Building has a bold and imposing structure, uh, which is flanked by some well laid down buildings. Uh, there's a rumor that this was originally meant to be the Senate building before the new one was built. Perhaps that's why these DSC buildings are looking very fine behind it. By the way, there's a building right over there called Spider, probably because of its spider leg like columns around it. That is actually the faculty of engineering building. All the engineering guys are way over there, well tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the campus. OAU has a museum, which was much more recently constructed, with a style said to be that of the ancient palace of the Alafin of Oyo. Right beside it is the Faculty of Pharmacy building, which was the first Faculty of Pharmacy in West Africa as at the time it was completed in 1967. Here there is also the Symmetrical College of Medical and Health Studies, and just around here is the Faculty of Technology building. From its northeast corner, the four buildings that comprise the Faculty of Arts create an additional axis. Behind the library, four additional faculties were built – Education, Social Science, Law and Administration. Three of these buildings were arranged symmetrically along the main core's northwest border, with the fort located between them and the Humanities axis. Sharon called this a loose grid design whereby a seemingly free-form arrangement of structures is connected by open-air plazas. Environmental considerations were a major concern. The lush natural vegetation was conserved wherever possible, and more importantly, the building's design took into account the glaring heat and the rains. Sharon used a climatic solution that was called a reverse or inverted pyramid. So if you're an OAU student, you must have at least thought about this even once why these buildings look like inverted pyramids and now you have it it's because they are meant to shield you from the sun and the rain the OAU campus is connected to its gates by a 2.5 kilometer stretch of road popularly known as road one which is accessible by students and staff living off campus by buses cabs and bikes the central area also houses the student union building not so far from the sport complex which is a large expanse well put together to encourage anyone trying to keep fit. 
OAU has an outdoor market and a recreational center called the New Booker, not so far from the student halls of residence. These halls of residence such as Mozambique, Angola, Awulawo, Moromi, and Fajuyu halls have distinct architecture also. All these amazing structures and scenery is exactly the reason why OAU students strut around campus with so much pride and enthusiasm. The campus itself gives you a feel of peace and freedom, coupled with enough greenery, perfect for learning and the cultivation of culture. So, do you agree that OU has the most beautiful campus? Let me know in the comment section. And if you feel your own campus is way better than this, let me also know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share my videos. I'll be dropping content like this weekly, so click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. My name is Adi Azanami. Thanks for watching.